if you're wondering why this is so shaky, number one, I'm recording on my phone, yay for its phone vlog, and number two, I'm walking through the rain, and yes, funnily enough, it does actually rain in Australia, let this dispel the rumour that it doesn't. I'm out of breath, it's because I've been walking around with my uni backpack for about three hours, and I haven't put it down, and it's got my laptop in it, and it's got my school books in it, and it's just a bit impossible, and I have a bag of shopping of presents I've bought people, and accidentally buying tabletop games because I have a week off next semester and I thought I deserved a reward. Since uni is back, I haven't had much of a time to make a proper vlog, let not get killed by cars. Fabulous. Um, so I thought I'd just do an update on life, gaming surface. That was funnier in my head, I apologise. Any wicked fans out there? So what's been happening? I hit 100 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Emily, you were my 100th subscriber. I know you've only just joined apparently, but thank you. And thank you for not unsubscribing and pushing me back down into the 99 zone. Which I was absolutely paranoid that somebody was going to do just for the sake of it. Classes have been good, stressful, but not as stressful as I thought they were going to be because I actually enjoy all the topics. Which is nice. Yay, MassCon. My journalism teacher is quite interesting. He reminds me of Basil Fawlty from Fawlty Towers, who you may or may not be aware of. If you haven't seen Fawlty Towers, you should because it's a classic. But he's very deadpan, and at first I wasn't sure, I thought he was being serious the entire time, but I think he is just an incredibly humorous person. But he's somebody you should be wary of because I'm pretty sure he researched all of us. Oh, you can't see me. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure he researched every single person in the class before the first class so he could have helpful little tidbits of information about every one of his new students and could talk about them. He said he wouldn't reveal his sources, but he asks us questions that appear in the about section of Facebook. So, you know, that's kind of a bit of a clue there. Because I'm probably people judging me. If you're wondering why I'm walking through the rain, when you also know I have a license, it's because I had to go into the city and there was no way that I was going to try and park in the city because it's tragic. So I was catching public transport and it was sunny when I left the house this morning. Ooh, it's my face. It's not anymore. Sorry you're like so close to my face. Actually you're not that close to my face. This is cool. Um, anyway, I'm back at my car now so I am going to go home and I am going to get out of the rain. I'm going to go visit my friend and then play some tabletop games. I think that's a great idea. Links down below. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi guys. What if I miss your face? Well, don't miss and don't drop the bucket. So the Lizzie Bennett Diaries and its spin-off series ended up running for an entire year, and then just this year they came out with a book.